I'm thinking it's way too cold to go fishing, right? But guess what? I'm on Facebook and I see somebody catch a mohara. First, they don't know what it is, and second, they don't know how good it tastes. I'm like, yo, we gotta do something about that. So let's go out there. And I know a spot where sometimes the Moharas are there on a cold night. Okay, so this is the bridge on Vanderbilt. There's a big one and there's a small one. I'm gonna cast that off the pedestrian bridge that we see right here. This is there's a small bridge right here. We're gonna cast that off the pedestrian bridge. Alright guys, so this is today's catch with the cast net. I just went to the bridge and cast it off that pedestrian bridge. This is a Mohara. I mean, this is like five minutes ago. Now the Mohara, the Mohara, this is probably too small to eat, so I'm going to end up using it as bait. It's not time we should get to come No. So, um, this is a Mohara. Uh, how is it the Mohara? Si. Okay. It's one of the carne. Big. Dad says it's good eating. Even though it's kind of small, he says it's big enough to eat. It has an incredibly rich flavor. And they are a really good bait. They are really good bait fish. You can use them as bait. I use them as the small ones for bait and the big ones like this. They're good bait. The Mohara is a... De, de it, it likes brackish water and it likes salt water. People who live near the shore in Cuba, where he's from, in Santa Cruz del Sur, which is a fishing village on the south side of Cuba, facing the Caribbean Sea, this is the most exquisite catch for people who live by the sea. So, um, better than a, than a lot of the other fish. We're not going to fillet it today, let's just show you. We just want to show you how it's done. First, you descale it. Okay, you, you take all the scales off. You cut it right here. You cut it right here. Okay, so this is the scale. Okay, so this is the scale. So we got Mola jumping over here. Se corta la cabeza al viaje. Sí. You cut the whole head off. Se abre aquí. Then you open the bottom. Se sacan las tripas. You take all the stuff out. Se limpia. You wash it. Se pica aquí. You la cut pina. You cut the, the spinal dorsal fins off. Yeah. And the bottom and the tail. La areta de los And the bottom dorsal fins. And that's it. Y se fríe entero. Se le you fry the whole thing. You're going to slice it. Se le hace dos cortes aquí. You make some nice, maybe two big slices so that the oil can penetrate. Pa para que se cocine completo. So that the oil can completely penetrate the meat. Y con sal y limón. With salt and lemon. Uh, se, se, cuando se está friendo con mucho aceite. When you're frying it with a lot of oil. No se mueve hasta que no esté cocinada por un lado. Do not move the the fish until it's thoroughly cooked on one side. Then with a big flat spoon you flip it once one side is completely cooked. Es importante no moverla hasta que no esté cocinada porque si no se desbarata. It is important not to move the fish until it is completely cooked over, otherwise it will just fall apart. Ah uh, no, he says I shouldn't be fishing out in the rain, it's cold. I don't know. I know. And let me tell you guys something else. Uh, the mullet, which is underneath, caught a real nice one there. That mullet right there is huge. It's a good sized mullet. The mullet is another fish that is an amazing catch. Of course, you can only cast net for the mullet because they eat grass and stuff. The mullet is overlooked. It is one of the best catches there is. What you do with mullet is you have to deep fry it to a deep yellow. Uh, in the same type of thing you to clean it, except for the mullet, you just make little steaks out of it lengthwise. You descale it, and you cut it lengthwise to the head. And the mullet, um, they're abundant and they're very good. The meat is very sticky. So you want to deep fry it to a deep yellow. You have to deep fry it a lot longer than most fish. Once you get it to a deep fry, it takes away the stickiness, and in my opinion, it's another great fish to eat that's always overlooked. 
somehow I don't know why these two species are some of the best eating fish or overlooked I and mean, we eat sheephead we eat snapper this is this is all good stuff here um this is on, on the level of snapper to me as far as food quality but people don't know how to cook it because people have a notion that frying fish is a five minute thing which is true for a lot of species but the mole has to be deep fried to a deep yellow and once you get it there it is some of the best fried fish you're ever going to have it's a little different but it's definitely good and I want to remind you guys I'm not a fish eater so for me to eat fish it's got to be good tomorrow we're going to make a video on how to cook and eat no, these guys so please subscribe to the channel we're going to cook and eat these guys tomorrow so the one in the back is different see there's two different species they're not the same species of mullet so notice that these two millet are not the same, they're two different species.